Hi guys, how are we all doing? Hi Moose, how are you doing? Uh, Gary Models Dad, I say Mike. Uh, Brew and Glue David, how are you doing, Jack? Evening Paul, Plastic Monkey, and Sue Ice Green, hiya, that's tricks. Just for, because uh, I've not been on all week, I thought I'd just chuck a little hour in today. I'll still be on tomorrow like normal, so all good. <clears throat> so here we go, we've got the old chief thing carrying on, we'll get to that in a minute. I did say that I was going to aqua gloss the Turpits line that we did last time I was live. I never got round to it, basically. So I'm going to just quickly aqua gloss that, then do some on the Chieftain, and then hopefully we'll get back to this just shortly in a little while and start masking and whatever, doing what needs to be done. So that's the first thing. Is getting that aqua gloss, I guess. Still choked up with a cold, as you notice. Nothing's changed there. Still not seeing the ice cream van. Or anyone that's curious. And uh, we'll just crack on, I guess. It was kind of unplanned, this live, really, so. All good on the airbrush, so that's good. Now we'll get the aqua glass and get a little coat of that done. That's the aqua glass there. It's the only ac acrylic that um, Alclad do, so <coughs> everything else is lacquer or enamel based. But as you've noticed, when I did the red, I didn't prime it, I just sprayed the mil spec red on here and uh, once it aqua glossed I put that masking tape on and it didn't pull any of the paint at all so it's, it's great just to put them layers on and protect what you're doing, stops any paint pulling and all that lot. So it would be an absolute nightmare if you pulled the paint when you're in the middle of a build. That's when you see grown men cry and all that. So always looks milky when you put this on, but it goes clear after. So I'm just gonna blast it like that, just gently, quickly on that line. Right. Evening Panzer, I'll be on the tank just shortly pal. How you been keeping? How has everyone been keeping? I've not been online all week. I just don't seem to get time for social media just lately. So today's been nice to be able to catch up, see what everyone's been doing and whatnot. So that's the aqua gloss on. You can't really tell that it's on, but it's on. You can see it's quite wet there. So we'll just leave that over there. That'll be dry in about 10 minutes or so. And I've hardly used any in the cup. There's still loads in there. It's nice just to get that a little bit. Just as well you put a, a comma in between monkey and sue there, David. Well, you might have been into trouble with her. So I hope everyone's been well and um, keeping all right. Like I say, I've not been on social media much all week, so. Neither have I, Fred. Been on double shifts since last Friday. Oh, all right. Yeah. Work does get in the way. On a plus side, I'm nearly ready to get my cattle license. So then I'll know my... We'll negotiate actually what hours 
I, I want to do rather than all the extra overtime and everything else that I've been doing at the minute. I mean, once I know I can proper schedule shows again, it'll be change of days and whatever, but times. I think it'll be a, a Friday to Saturday for sure. And then uh, I'm not sure during the week. It might be a late one. But I don't want to overlap with other people, so I messaged a few today. Are you live? Because I don't want to cut in, obviously. I'm good, supposed to get a coffee and a sweet roll. Oh, good stuff. That chat just jumped like mad. <laughs> right, so back on the old chieftain now for a minute while that's drying. Remember last time we were getting in cage, that cage on there and we've got a few bits on the back there. Bits and bobs, uh, we'll just crack on and do a little bit on that while you're all yapping away and whatever. Um, we'll see how we get on. Just trying to work out whereabouts I am. I don't want to miss nothing out. We've got that, we've got that, we've done that. Done that. We've done that. Just making sure we've done it all. Yep. And then we started that bit there. That bit. Start. Right. Whenever I am. That's the only trouble when you're not being on it all week. So we're doing this bit here. In a minute, we've got some, you're going to laugh because you know what I'm like with this tank malarkey. So we've got like spare sprocket wheels or whatever they are and a bit of caging going on there and some bits and bobs to go on. More little bits basically. So that's what we'll get on. It looks like there's a few bits on the top there too. Looks like things for wires or whatever. I don't know. Need to see. That's not very. Not very clean. <laughs> Give that a quick wipe with these spectacle. Spectacle wipes. These are great, you get them from Poundland, Pound Shop. They're great for glass and stuff. Sorted. So, what do we have here? Alright, I see. So, on this one here, you can see that very well. I'll try and get it up a bit. On this one here, it's actually like looks like two half hatches that go over rather than one full one. Turn it off a minute. So, you best get that on, I guess. Right, so I want C7s. There isn't much left in the box. That's pretty much it. So that and the tracks basically. That's it. Yeah. 
Brew C. A D. Let's put the C there, is it not? Nope, that's B. What must be this? Yep. Sorted. Hi, JC. JC. Josie Miguel, is it Miguel? I'll oh, say Miguel. There you go. Nice and simple then. Getting where everything is. Yeah. Oh dear. It was actually my missus that got me to go live today. She was like, how are you not going live today because you weren't on yesterday? There you go, look. See that? Two little par patches here. Now, I always thought, obviously, assumptions like the biggest mess up in the world. You should never assume anything, I guess. But I always thought tanks were like one full hatch that jumped over, not halves. So I'm quite surprised about that. I'm going to need to put this lamp on a minute, I'm afraid. Let's see what I'm doing. Yeah, I always thought that a hatch would be like one complete thing. Now, there's a little issue here with this hatch. If I have it in an open position, I don't know if you can see that very well, but there's ejector pin marks on there. Two lovely circles of ejector pin marks. Hmm. Which is not ideal. Oh, here we go. Mike's on it. See, the trouble is, Mike, Dad, whatever you want to call you. Trying to type when you're the only person actually live is not easy to do, so you get away with it. But there's always your Sunday session where I can jump in instead. That one's okay. No pin marks on that one. Right. He says, oh, this is where it gets fiddly. This here. Ooh. I'll get that in there. <laughs> oh, I thought that was going to ping again. Are you trying to get. Because it's rubber. It's like a rubber piece. Trying to get it into that hole. No, can't find the whole kind of comments. I'm all fingers and thumbs today for some reason. I don't want to drop it inside the tank. 
That's the hard, hardest bit. Yeah. Got it. Pretty much. There we go. And this one clips in there. Like that. There we go, there's one. I wish this cold would go away. Evening Colin, how are you? Good to see you again. Hope I'm not treading on anyone's toes being live. I know you do some for e models and that. I'm not sure what times and dates, days and whatever. That is. Red, will we ever say such a thing to you, Fred? Dad, on the other hand, is fair game. <laughs> That's true enough. Been dropping stuff off all day, Fred. Not sure I want to even pick up a model yet. Oh dear. Well, I'm not sure if I said, but last week the Mrs. Motor got hit by somebody else when we were all alright and whatever. Well, the car's away to be repaired, and we should get it back, hopefully, the end of the week. And we've got a lovely brand new motor, seven-seater, with a courtesy car, which is lot. Oh, no. Right, which is lovely. managed to get it out. Oh, seriously, do these little bits on these tanks, you armor builders. You guys are something else. I can handle little photo etch, but this is craziness. Oh, three times I've dropped that. Well, I've definitely got a whole different respect for your armour builders to a certain degree. Only to a certain degree. Seriously. Oh, See these silly little bits. Got it. Right. Definitely strange having two half hatches. Definitely not what I was expecting. It's quite good that they've done a rubber on one side though, so you can actually clip your hatch in. Because it's rubber, you get that little bit of movement. Like so. No, so, and you can see that. What, two little hatches there. And then you flip over. Uh, see that? Yeah, that's quite cool. I right, can just go like that if I want them to open up again. And then like back open again. And there we go. That weren't too bad. Could have been a lot worse. Just put a little bit of glue on there. Side. Sorted. That's two little half hatches on. Now the pain bit. So we've got wire, wire. Oh, right, it's a wire reel. 
not a sprocket wheel or whatever. Right. The great thing is, it tells you that. It doesn't tell you what part number. Luckily for me, even though they've missed out the part number, I can spot what one it is. Yeah, one. Earth and Earth. Right. Oh, wait, okay. Right, E twenty one. Doesn't look nothing like the picture this thing. I'll show you in a minute. And C A D. Sorted. What's that? Oh, some heavy cold you got there, Fred. Sure, it's not man flu. <laughs> it's um, doing me in, mate, to be honest. I've managed all week at work, uh, but it's them, you know, the halls, the halls pack it like a What's it, sweeties? They come in them silver wrappers, you know? Little squares. They're brilliant. They've kept me going all the way through the week. Packing them every day, and I managed to keep going. So, well, I wish it would just hurry up and go away. And I've been drinking Convonia, that old stuff. Just bottles and you know, like it's drinking it like it's whiskey. <laughs> it's, it's doing me in really, but we get there. And I've just got my letter for my second COVID thingy jig, harpooned, and you want to call it got that today so that's on the 22nd so no doubt I'll have a sore arm again after that on the plus side I was at the men's shed today just helping and advising the guys on tidying up and all that and getting it ready to reopen again so it's Maybe not gospel yet, but it's looking like the beginning of June we should be able to open the model club again, which will be great because we've got some new veterans being referred to us. And I've been talking to them online and on the phone, but um, it'll be great just to meet them face to face and uh, all that kind of thing and get the guys back to how we was of course with social distancing we'll use the big workshop area to start with to make sure that everybody's safe but hopefully that should be the beginning of june the guys really miss not having the airbrush and stuff like that and the help and tips you know it's all right me helping them online but it's just not the same thing that cavonia supposed to pour over your head Fred no wonder you're not so yet <laughs> so there's my what's it real wire real or something whatever that's for we need to pop that in there So, and 
don't quite know what that's for, but have a hot toddy. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. I was kind of on the whiskey last night. Kind of. <laughs> and uh, I was kind of sensible with it. But I slept like a log, so all good. There we go. So there's my wire thing that is real on there. That wonderful bit just there. All good. So we'll start to try and get this page carry on on. I don't know why that's drying. Uh, right. Or a little extinguisher kind of thing and all that to put on and all while it's at. Suppose we better do that first. So I don't want them silly little hook things. E1. We're definitely getting there because look, I mean, there's hardly anything on that splint. Hardly anything on that one. Next to nothing on that one once I've done this cage. And hardly anything on that one so we're nearly ready to start painting and all sorts of other headaches just shortly so I'm gonna put one of, another one of them little silly hook things with a hole in the middle if it's sorting it's for sorting communication wire used for hand cranked phones and radio silence. All right, all good. Cheers for that. I always know and rely on you, Banza. Hi, Aries. How are you? Not quite sure who Aries is, but hi. <laughs> Everyone's welcome, so. See if I could get 10.47 minutes of my life back. <laughs> Never anything exciting on here, I'm afraid. Just me waffling on, everyone putting me right. And uh, getting on with a build. And that's about all the river is to my life. But it's nice to see everyone chatting away and all that carry on. Don't forget though, I mean if there is anything specific, say like with Alclad or whatever, if you want me to show you something, just let me know in the comments or whatever and my next live I'll get my paint mule out or, t or a plastic spoon or something and I can always jump in and do a little whatever you want to see. Not a problem. Evening Alan, how are you? So, try and get this silly little bit right in the next uh, box. I'm just not going to open, is it? Not like that, anyway. There we go. Some silly little hooky thing. Are we chatting? I thought we were slagging Dagbert off. <laughs> well, yeah, there is that. <laughs> so, Aries, what's your first name? Just out of curiosity. I'm not normally full of cold, Aries, by the way, when I'm live. But here's what it is.
I thought slagging off dad was just like a run of the mill kind of normal thing to do. I just copied what you lot do really. Still trying to figure out how to get other people on my life. I can't quite get my head around it all. E8. Another one of them little ammo boxes as well there. Trying to get the bits that go in the cage first. Because otherwise it'll just be a headache. So we'll get this cage on now. It is mate, it's a rite of passage. <laughs> Unfortunately, once I've passed my, my cattle license and I start going on to back shift, it turns out that I'll be working on Sundays. So I will no longer be able to watch in real time your Sunday brunch. I'll have to... Um, catch up on it on a Sunday evening when I get home because I'll be, I think what it is is I think the plan is once I've passed everything that I'll be um, I'll be doing crazy shifts basically I'll be I think it's going to be about either 12 till 8 or um, I think they said 12 till 8 or 2 till 10 that will be the kind of timing for my shifts so we will uh I will have to reschedule when I do all my lives when the time comes. Right, I've got to try and get that on there. If you remember last time, I I tried to do all this. But I've got that wheel in the way now. I don't quite know how I'm going to go about this. It's not going to work, is it? Whatever I do, I look at it. Wait. I can get that to sit there. Just for a minute. What the hell? I'm going to be Rowdy Yates. Right. Now you are showing your age there, mate, because I'm going to be absolutely brutal with you, because I've got no idea who Rowdy Yates is. <laughs> Thought no rites of passage. My next door neighbour dropped a trouser bomb. He wasn't aware. I heard it while I was in the den. <laughs> It's when you laugh really loud once they've done it. Or if it's like my missus, she will do that and then go, Fred, just in case anyone next door heard. Even though it wasn't me in the first place. That's her normal one. Now this cage is a little fiddly. And the way they want me to do it. Not the easiest method to be doing. What's the time? Oh, we've got loads of times. Uh. 
That is craziness. Can't see if we even got that right or not. No, nope, the floor's just fell straight through near enough. Difficult. Let's go on here. Right, a little bit of an issue there. Got a Google voucher for free. Google voucher for free. Oh, right. <laughs> this has gone pear shaped on me. Do this silly wheel in the way. Right, this is giving me the ump. So, see that? Silly wheel. Thank you all for a minute. It's in my way. Can't see what I'm doing with that in there. How do you guys manage this? He was out cutting the grass, stopped the mud, dropped the bomb, then started the mud. <laughs> Oh man, that's even worse, isn't it? You know, at least keep the mower going so you, no one hears. <laughs> well, I managed to get my cage on, right? Yeah, I managed to get the cage on there. So, hopefully I can still whip this on. Now. Now that was the easy way of doing it then. It says put the wheel on and then the cage. Do it the opposite way around. Do the cage, then put the wheel on or wire, reel, whatever you want to call it. That way it sells you a world of hurt trying to get it all lined up. All right, ammo box. That goes in the crate there. It's dead fiddly this bit. Here's a practice fit. <laughs> yeah. I must admit, and I'm not converted, so don't get too excited. But um I've actually been enjoying this so far, which is not a good thing for an aircraft builder, but there you go, there you go, so we've got the crate on there, and we've got that wheel on as well, I'll show you from that side, there it is. So we've got our hatches and all that and all that on. So we've got a couple of other silly little bits to put on. I think. Yeah. We've got a couple of weird weird looking parts. Not even trying to explain what they are. E5. Oh, 
like good fun I mean, e5 and e2 all oh, right e2 looks like some sort of fire extinguisher Mind you, don't have to laugh during your interview when you mention building the Bentley Blower, an ideal car for you, I thought. Who's built a Bentley Blower? I built a Bentley Blower. You're a great kit. Well, that's kind of telling porkies a little bit. But uh, it came out a great build, I think. I like the Bentley Blower. Oh, is it? But obviously, we're probably thinking that Dad's more the Bentley blower from his trousers. Right, am I supposed to get that? Seriously? Oh, you built one. Which one did you do, Dad? Was it the 124 or the bigger one? I think the 124 was a hella one. Done by Revel, I think it was. Was it Revel? And then you got the, the bigger one that was done by Airfix. Right, I know what that is. That little thing I just put on, I think it's for an aerial wire thingy me jig. Oh, it looks of it. Because I recognise where you put the bit of wire in at the end. The 124 Rebel, yeah, so did I. Um, warped chassis. Lots of flash. That's a scaly blower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. I didn't mean to add fuel to the fire like on that comment, but yeah, warp chassis. Uh, loads of flash. Loads of ejector pin marks. But we're loving attention. Came out great. Scary blower, yeah, that's true enough. Evening, Richard. Cheers, buddy. Yeah, it's getting there. We're putting all these silly little gubbin bits on. You don't get all this rubbish on an aeroplane. All you've got is landing gear, and that's you kind of thing. But on these tracky things, we seem to have a lot of crazy gubbins on them. Well, we're nearly there. We've got some figures and some bits and bobs to do, but we nearly got empty spruce. So that's a good start. I really enjoyed doing my Bentley blower, to be honest. I was actually, I was lucky with my Bentley blower. It got a lot of coverage, um, the way it turned out. Ended up in books and magazines and all sorts. So, all good. I enjoy the metal. You know, the metal finishes and that. And I love doing engines on anything. If you notice, when I do my builds with engines, with aircraft and all that, I always add in wires and pipes and stuff like that. So when I come to the Bentley Blow, it's awesome. Because you got all that engine bay where you can leave the panels up and, and do what you want to do. So that's what I did. But... Did you, Mike, did you use the original grills in front of the lights? Because I didn't like them, the plastic grills. So what I done is I got some wire and I wrapped it round a circle the same size as the lamps. And then I soldered the wire so it was like a, you know, a wire circle. And then what I done was I put some grill mesh in it and done that. Uh, so I made my own 
the headlight protection grills. I made my own ones and then I glued them on with little pins coming out, sticking out with stretch sprue and then when it was painted it come out awesome. But, um, I spent a long time on my Bentley when I done it. Bit silly really. I was kind of over, spent over the time on it. According to these instructions, we're just about done on actual parts on the tank. By the looks of it, because that's where I'm at. And that's the next page, and that's us. So we hardly got anything left to actually worry about. Yeah, I used all the original bits. Yeah, I found straightening out the chassis was warm water. That really worked and got that nice and straight. Uh, like I said, I'd done the grills myself. Uh, what else did I do? Ah, oh, you see like the Union Jack on the side and the number 8 and all that. I didn't use any decals. I um, used a mask set I got made up for it. And uh, I sprayed the Union Jack and the number 8 and all that. I'd done it all without the decals, which is really cool. That was great fun. Right, I've got a jerry can. We jerry cans. Got to like a jerry can. We are literally ready to start painting this, so there's no more little gubbins to go on it. We've got a little jerry can here that I can pop in and out whenever I feel like it, so we'll just whip that together quick. And what I'll do is the next time I'm live, which will be tomorrow at 7, we'll concentrate more on the tur pits and start mate um start masking for the splinter camo dad's blower needs a metal grill <laughs> dad's blower needs a musical instrument bless him he's getting a lot of grief just <laughs> i'm not saying it's not undeserved because it probably is. There you go, a little jerry can there, look. I've actually got some more jerry cans, so I might add a couple more in there. We shall see. So I can just pop that in when I'm ready. So, cool little jerry can there. And then we've got all these silly side skirt bits to put on. Oh, there's a cable as well. Hang on. Uh, place anywhere you prefer the jerry can. Yep, no worries. Antenna wires. Go there and there. So we can sort that out near the end. Because they'll just get in the way. Uh, we've got two long wire cable finger jigs. Where were they? There they are. Now, are these cables camo or are they just cables? Because if they're just cables, I might put them on at the end. So they're not in my way. Listen, my blower is a musical instrument. <laughs> I'm brave, <laughs> yeah. In fact, I've actually got the idea on the um, dazzle camo. I've got an idea on that, how I'll go about it. So, so we've got these two. Cable thingy me jigs here. Oh. They're like I'll go on the side of the tank there. So I like to do silly things with models, so I'm guessing that goes on there somewhere on the side. Right. Now, I don't really want to 
I don't really want to do these bits yet because these bits here they're kind of just they're going to clip on right over the tracks and uh, obviously I'd like to get the tracks and all that lot done first I can hang you know I can spray this and just hook it on afterwards so I think we'll concentrate on the tracks next on this and uh, take it from there I think we stock some resin little jerry cans by green stuff world I'll have to have a look and of course I've got some of these little packs and rolls and stuff I don't know if I can maybe chuck a couple of them on there somewhere we'll see there's a Mersey Ferry done in Dazzle Camo <laughs> cool so I'm going to leave that there, we're just about time anyway, so that's pretty much ready to start doing the nightmare called painting. <coughs> so, uh, for all these wonderful moving parts that we're going to have to deal with, and then I've got all the figures and all that lot to start and sort out, so we, we're getting there, you know, everything moves like it should, up and down. I think it goes right round if I really wanted it to. So, and all our little half hatches and all that carry on. So, we're pretty much ready to paint on the old ship. There's the apple gloss is dry, ready to go. So, uh, we're ready to mess about with that. So what I'll do next time now, on Sunday there, I'll mask from the top edge of that black line down the way. Then we'll work out where the dazzle camo goes on here, on both sides, and spray them. I'll do it colour by colour. And the reason is, if I do it all the lighter colour, and then do the darker colour, and then go the darker colour again, you're going to end up with parts of the dazzle as one layer and then you're gonna have like the next darker color so it'll be like a, a mi I mean I know it's microscopic but you're gonna end up with a microscopic step up between the next color and then the next color and the next color and when you go like that it would feel like a step up um, with ridges and whatever so I don't want to do it that way what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mask off where the white dazzle is spray the white everywhere that needs it then remove the masking and then after it's aqua gloss to protect it I will mask it again to do the next colour so then when you've got your first colour and then you've masked let it dry you know mask take it off and then mask the next colour the two colours will butt up next to each other if you know what I'm saying so there'll be no ridge between the different colours Whereas if you go one colour and then another colour on top and then another colour on top, you're going to have that little, I mean it's microscopic, but you're going to feel like a dunk, 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 dunk between the colours. Whereas if I do it that way and do one colour, mask it, then aqua gloss, and then do the next one, it'll butt, the paint will butt up next to one another. So then when you go like that, it'll feel smooth all the way across, if that makes sense rather than having bumps and ridges and, and all that lot. And believe me, when you're taking a photographs and things like that, you will notice if it had that stepping kind of where you built up your different layers and different colors. So it's, it's a longer process the way I'm gonna do it, but it's the better way for your finish at the end, if you know what I mean. It should make sense. You know, um, so that's my plan with that. Once I've done the sides, I can dry fit the upper bits sections and look at it from the angle and see the angle of my dazzle and then mark it on all the the, uh, the upper sections 
and then I know where I'm spraying and painting on them because otherwise you get confused and try and guess it and trying to do it all in one piece when it's all glued together and it's just an absolute nightmare. So it's a little bit longer the way I'm going to do it but it's the better way of doing it. As for this thing, I call it a thing because it's not an aeroplane. Um, mm, I haven't figured out how I'm going to go about this yet. I would imagine looking at all the lumps and bumps I will probably freehand camo this um, and we'll start getting the figures painted and that once the tanks finished just in case I mess up the figures I can just have it as a tank um, so on this so like so I'll probably do the camo freehand and then touch up wherever I need to and do what I need to do and weather it and all that carry on but it should be interesting anyway so I'll try and get some photos tonight I won't take a photo of the ship because we already know it's a black line and all that lot um, but I'll try and get a, a few photos of different angles of the chieftain before we paint it and do what we've got to do but that's I would say that's ready to paint now we'll um, start working out that on paint and get the tracks done we'll get the rubber tracks sorted out they'll need to be painted and burnished and because all these little tiny square pads in between they need to be like um, pretty much the colour they are but the external bits you know I want them like um, like a metal finish and then from there we'll grubby them up and all that kind of carry on so I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna keep them little middle bits as they are because I quite like the way they are on that um, you can see there they're quite metallic -y black pads which is cool so it's trying to get this outer edge in a different metal finish what I might do is see if I've got any masking that's that width and if I have I've only got to work out the length and then cut I don't know about a hundred of them <laughs> and stick them all on and then I can just spray that nicely but we shall see who knows it's enough of me waffling on full of cold, talking through my nose. And uh, we shall try and get the right camera back. There we go. All good. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, all good. Uh, I'll put my feet up now. <sighs> so, that's a. Uh, wasn't much on the turpits, but it will be tomorrow. Like I say, we'll start the dazzle camo tomorrow, and uh, the chieftain's getting it. They're nearly ready for paint, which has actually been quite good. It's it's been all right so far. That I've got all the wheels still to deal with. Big pile of wheels over here. I've got all them to deal with too. Sure, we've got a little black line to go around before we do the the. Uh, before we do the camo on them and the little pins and all that so there's still a fair bit to do but not not too major no worries moose you take care thanks for popping by and i'll see you tomorrow no doubt um so that's it take care everyone stay safe and uh look after yourselves i'll be back tomorrow at seven o'clock and like i say we'll carry on with the turpits a bit more maybe a little bit on the tank but mainly the turpits tomorrow and uh, that's about it thanks for popping by saying hello putting your thumbs up and all that carry on uh, liking subscribing and all that if you're into YouTube that's the YouTube chat so if you're on Facebook and you're ever watching this later on go over to YouTube and subscribe get the notification and you can join in with a chat thanks very much david much appreciated me uh i always think great stream is it really but apparently it is so 
you know everyone enjoys it that's the main thing and it's nice to see everyone chatting and getting to know one another and all that so cheers richard you too buddy you stay safe mate and uh i hope your airbrush gets fixed soon i saw that earlier that's a shame that anyway bye for now guys and i shall i'll definitely see you all tomorrow anyway i should be there for the sunday brunch but i can't promise because I've got a fence post to fix. So we shall see. Anyway, enough of me waffling on. Bye for now, guys, and see you soon. Bye.